Hey, everybody, we are live from Google Cloud Next with UiPath, a key Google Cloud partner and innovator. Edward, how are you? I'm really good. Yeah, great to be here with you, Evan. Thanks for having me. Well, I wish I could be there in person, but uh, I'm going to live vicariously through you and the team at UiPath. Uh, how, first of all, how's it going? Looks like a it's tremendous going, event. It's going amazingly, yeah. I mean, it's a huge event. I think there's like 30,000 people. Um, it's been great to connect with our customers here and hear about the latest advances uh, in the Google Cloud Platform. Yeah, it's been exciting. So much news for the week. And before we dive into all that, maybe ex elaborate on the relationship between UiPath and Google Cloud and, and the nature of the partnership. Yeah, I mean, well, I think, you know, just for starters, um, you know, a lot of the UiPath customers are uh, using Google Cloud. And um, and Google Cloud also has amazing kind of AI capabilities. So I think, you know, the main nature of our relationship is making it easier for our mutual customers to leverage both platforms to their fullest. So UiPath is available on the Google Cloud Marketplace. So you can just access it straight from there, making it very efficient and quick and easy. Um, we have vertex ai connectors in the ui path mm. studio so you can instantly access all of you know google cloud's ai offerings in the automation uh, platform uh you can deploy and manage ui path on your google cloud infrastructure uh which is mm. super important you know uh for protecting kind of uh security and privacy and leveraging your investments in that space um and then we have connectors and integrations to the whole like kind of G Suite offering, you know. So if you're using mm. Google Email, Google Calendar, all of that kind of uh, productivity, um, we can seamlessly integrate to that to to drive automation. So a whole bunch of ways in which we uh, support our customers. Wow, that, that's super exciting! What a value add! And um, how do you think about you know future development on Google Cloud? Uh, do, you, do you sort of align roadmaps? I know there's a lot of learning and education happening there uh, at the moment with partners like UiPath. How far in advance do you sort of plan? You know, roadmap and features and deployment of, of functionality, et cetera. Yeah, I mean it's a really good working relationship, and um, and uh, yeah, we talk about our respective roadmaps and how they can you know reinforce each other. Um, you know, I think the progress of AI is very hard to predict for anyone. You know, mm. I don't think anyone on Earth has line of sight to where AI is going to be in eighteen months. Really, uh, we all know where we want it to go. We're all pushing to go uh, as fast as possible, but um, where we'll actually be is very hard to predict. Yeah, absolutely. So a big part of uh, UiPath's work in the enterprise is ensuring data security and in integrity and compliance with customers. I imagine that was a big topic, is a big topic this week. Yeah, definitely. And I think, you know, also with our own announcements, I mean, UiPath has the the trust layer, the LLM trust layer, the LLM gateway, the mm. ability for our customers to kind of control, manage, audit, filter all of the calls to to LLMs. Uh, in the platform, uh, and Google Cloud's also made a number of kind of announcements. Also, I think you know the ability to run and deploy UiPath in our customers' Google Cloud environment uh, is also very critical for some organizations which have you know invested in bringing in Google Cloud into their organization. There's a huge amount of kind of um, work. You know, it's not just a technical problem; it's a policy, it's a procedures, it's you know all of the getting all the accreditations. So you've gone through all of that effort with Google Cloud. The fact that you can run UiPath on your Google Cloud platform is a real game changer for some organizations. It is a game changer. And it seems like the partnership is really empowering enterprises to scale their, not just their automation, but their AI strategies. Um, and big seems to be the, uh, the name of the game now in terms of the models and the scale of the opportunity uh, what sort of industries do you think will be most uh, uh, changed or uh, enhanced through AI together with Google? Well, I mean, I think um, no industry will be unchanged. Mm. <laughs> and I, this sounds like, I mean, I, I still think we're in really early days, right? This mm. uh, 
Gemini, you know, was only recently kind of released. The Gemini 1.5 model family, um, you know, GPT-4 only came out, I don't know, what, 18, 12, you know, 16 mm. months ago, something along that like, time scale. Um, these are really early days. And I think, you know, we have this new capability. It unlocks a whole bunch of automation use cases, a whole bunch of new ways to run processes and orchestrate work. Um, I think the constraining factor really is our imagination. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I, you know, how do we, I think increasingly everything will be possible. The question is, mm. what do we actually want? Um, and so uh, I think just just deploying this technology and kind of reimagining how we want our our processes, our customer engagement, um you know all of all of the core processes in our business to operate um is a constraining factor well it's an exciting uh, prospect you must be meeting so many customers there do you have any favorite uh case studies or stories of of businesses benefiting from this this partnership um i mean imagine there's some you can't talk about but you must see lots of opportunity out there yeah, I mean, I'm I'm prepared for that question. So, uh, but um, yeah, there's, I mean, it's great to see so many mutual customers. I think uh, on stage yesterday we saw HCA referenced in um, the keynote uh, yesterday, hmm. uh, which is a great customer of UiPaths as well, uh, doing huge amounts of work with um, document understanding and the rest of our automation suite. Um, I can't, <laughs> you put me on the spot. There were so many different uh, names, but HCA is a great example. Well, so many examples. I don't want you to have to pick your favorite child or anything. So yes, we'll, we'll, uh, all your customers are, are doing amazing work. What about you? Talk about your role, Edward, at UiPath as head of AI strategy. That sounds like the most fun job in the company. Uh, talk, us about, talk to us about your mission, your team's mission w within UiPath. Yeah, so my, my background's actually in AI research. So I started mm. off in mathematics and then theoretical neuroscience. So studying, you know, how brains work with kind of mathematical techniques. That led me to get into AI. Um, I founded an AI startup, which UiPath acquired. Um, oh, wow. And I, I now sit in the AI research team. So I'm surrounded by all the AI engineers, all the AI research scientists uh, in UiPath who are building and training and developing the next generation of models uh, that will power the UiPath platform. So I sit in that team of research scientists um, and I kind of straddle their world, the research world and the needs of our customers. So I spend half our time talking to customers and partners and half our time. I think the thing that I'm most excited by is, you know, and we saw it with the Gemini announcements is, Large language models are no longer just for language, no longer just for text. They're multimodal, so they're going to process all types of data, so video, audio, images, um, and uh, you know. And our role at UiPath is how can we bring that raw capability to the world of work? And if you think about mm. it, pretty much everyone who has an office job just needs a, a screen, some headphones a laptop, you know, a keyboard and a mouse, right? Those are the four, those are the modalities at which you provide value. You, 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 you get paid to do your work. And so I'm very excited by multimodal, large language models for one of a bit of a phrase, multimodal LLMs, but adapted and modified to be really good in enterprise work settings and that adaptation that specialization to the world of work it's a really non-trivial problem um but it's a really uh it's it's the key to unlocking this from being a kind of somewhat useful personal productivity tool where you can ask a little question maybe ask a little like coding question or get help writing a function or writing a sql query to being something that can actually do work for you you know, almost like having a kind of everyone having their own personal kind of set of employees reporting into them that can do work for them and give them tasks. You can, you know, kind of collaborate and orchestrate work so you can be, you know, orders of magnitude more um, productive and effective. 
Yeah, that's a great point. And speaking of that, I'm a big user of Google Cloud's productivity tools and and UiPath Studio for various marketing, automation, MarTech use cases. And it looks like a lot of these are coming together uh, in, in interesting ways, uh, really empowering individuals and teams. And that's a big deal, right? I mean, productivity enhancement is it looks amazing. What, what do you see on the horizon there? Yeah, I think. I mean, I think that's an interesting point. Just in you know, in your own personal kind of the example you gave there, is I'm a firm believer you're going to see this huge proliferation of these amazing AI features or capabilities embedded across all these different kind of tools that we all use every day. But the key to really unlocking value is about joining those things up, right? Orchestrating it, and you know, I think. If you look at how all work has been done for like the last 50 years, it's been a combination of mm. software and people, right? Software and people and some elaborate kind of sequence of uh, tasks and events. The future is obviously traditional software, people, and AIs, you know, AI agents or whatever you want to call that. And I think um, our vision at UiPath is how can you optimally orchestrate those three kind of modalities those three ways of doing stuff to get the best results you know so i think you know the future of uh, the future i envisage for you evan is you can you know have wonderful creative thoughts about how you envisage your business improving your your work improving um but then actually implementing that delivering it um will be done by a combination of software ai and automation well, that's amazing. Well, as a small business owner, I, I feel like I already have a team of about six, due to, given the tools I use from UiPath and Google Gemini today. So I can only imagine the multiplier, the effect there, uh, you know, as these integrations come together. Uh, so, guys, final note, how, what's the buzz like on the ground? It looks like one of the biggest, buzziest tech events of the year so far. Must be a lot of excitement within the community yeah, I mean, I think, um, I mean, I, I mean, can you, can the crescendo get any louder, I feel, <laughs> around AI? I mean, I always think it's like overhyped and underhyped AI. So um, maybe I'll just leave it there. But I quite like the Google Vids announcement. There's a bit easy to very, you know, it's kind of, um, you know, easily curate videos through textual mm. commands and kind of visual assets. Um, that was one thing that I thought was pretty cool. But um yeah, the whole AI space wow. is um, pumping That's right so now. That's so exciting to participate in and to observe. So you have another day or two left there. What's next? Anything else coming up uh, for you personally on the road? Any other events on your radar? Um, we're holding a great kind of research event in London in a couple of weeks. That's invite only, oh, nice. but uh, some of the best, uh, you know, London, we have a big AI research team in London. You do. Um, and London's one of the kind of best locations for AI talent in, in the world, really. I just think, I think you saw Microsoft just announced they're opening up a further investment in AI research lab in, in London. And so we're, we're hosting a kind of a great event there for hardcore AI research scientists. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. I'll have to have a touch base there, and you can overwhelm us with um, some some deep AI tech. lingo. Yeah, <laughs> deep tech. <laughs> four, four or five letter acronyms, all that good mm. stuff. But thanks so much for taking the time out of your schedule here just to chat, and so the insights are much appreciated. Enjoy the rest of the show, Edward. Amazing, Evan. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. And, you know, follow UiPath on social media. They put out some amazing and useful content and insights. So um, check them out at Google Cloud Next. Thanks, everyone. Please do. Bye-bye. Thank you.